Mission of the News at 6, I'm Mark Johnson. And I'm Morgan Romero. Tonight, we're hearing from some friends and family of the two people killed in Monday's tragic shooting. Our Shira Matsuzawa joins us now with more on the two that are gone, but obviously will never be forgotten. Shira. You know, Mark and Morgan, I spent today talking with people who knew Joe Acker. They say she was kind and had a heart of gold. Now, Joe was 26 years old and lived in Caldwell. She was working as a security guard at the mall on Monday when Boise police say Joe first encountered the suspect. She died at the scene. Today, her family started a GoFundMe. In a statement, they called her a hero and the type of person that always wanted to help people. They say her heroics saved lives, that she was loved by those who knew her, and she will be greatly missed. Today I spoke with Joe's Taekwondo instructor, Master Lee. He says it's been a while since he's seen Joe, but he was in shock after Joe's mom told him what happened. He says Joe was a black belt and very respectful, always caring. I can't believe it, uh, this happening, but it's, I'm so proud of him. Uh, that's our Taekwondo teach, uh, help others and uh, fight for justice. That's our take on the teach. He exactly, uh, he showed uh, this uh, example of our take on the philosophy. So I'm so proud of him. Now, Master Lee shared this photo of Joe with us. He knew Joe before she transitioned to a woman. Joe's friend Shiloh also said she was a super radiantly sweet person. She just had this presence about her that made you feel safe and respected. She is going to be missed by many, but forgotten by none. And Joe's friend from high school, Dylan Burke, told me Joe was a person with a heart of gold and twice as big as the sun, always upbeat and rarely angry. She passed as a true Viking. I'm glad I got the privilege to know her and be her friend. 49-year-old Roberto Padilla Arguez from Rupert was also killed in Monday's shooting. They say he was shopping at the mall when the shooting happened. The family has received donations since the shooting. They say the money raised will go toward funeral expenses and to return her, their brother to his family in Mexico. The city of Rupert also offered their condolences on Facebook, and we have much more information on our website at ktvb.com. This is something that has affected the entire yeah, region. Sherry, you can see it there.